Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving Welcome back to the Romania River channel and my playthrough of Dungeons and Dragons Online. Very lovely place. Came through here because there there's a uh, what was it called? Well, there was an anniversary event at one point, but now it's gone. Was curious what it was what what it was what what it was with, and now I've ended up here. Um, didn't really do more than one uh, run of that anniversary event and didn't have time to record much. Or any of it, to be honest. Huh, it's still going on. Okay, wrong place then. Uh, what did I want to say though? There's a Year of the Dragon event going on, so if you guys have... Well, actually, if you, even if you don't have it, the game's free to play, so grab it from its website, because it's no longer on Steam from what I remember. And basically, should probably show you guys, but let me just quickly grab this. Alright, what do you want? Get that, and now we're we'll head out, so I can show you guys where to go in the city to basically get the Ear of the Dragon thingy. Let's grab that as well. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I'll go here a bit later. Let me just show you guys where it was. If I can remember where it was, of course. And I think I have a reward to pick up. Either that or they popped on the... Mm, okay. Those are not... They kind of do look like... Um... Oh, letters. So, we're going this way, if I recall properly. Place you need to go to grab the... This month's a free class unlock, some dragon warrior type thing, so... Not something I'll be using until I rebirth in this game, which will probably be in a couple of years, the way I'm playing. Okay, let's go this way. And if I recall rightly, it was down somewhere. It was in this area, if I... Because hmm. I should remember it for my own needs as well. Okay. Helldivers 2 spoiled me for mobility. Okay, so I recall it's around here somewhere. Uh, let's see, there was a guard. Maybe the boy. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Comedy ensues, to be honest. Probably should have recorded that when I found it. That way I would actually remember as well. I'm looking on the wrong side, no? Well, yeah, this is what you need to find, so make a note of it right underneath the bridge. Yeah, there we go. Go in here. Then if you have feather pull, you can just jump off here and find this bastard on the bottom level. Yeah. Mm, if I remember correctly, this guy gives you the shit. This particular case... Yep, there we go, that's me confirming I got the... Bitter unlock, so the same. Oh, 
this. Forgot about that. I'm gonna be real. And this place looks quite lovely, I'm gonna be honest. To be fair, Dungeons and Dragons Online could do with a visual update, but that's not gonna really happen. They're supposed to do a visual update on Lord of the Rings Online, but apparently that fell through. And now let's find that chick again, which was up here. I think it's that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, let's have a quest to turn in apparently. Let's just go do that real quick. And if my PC is being a bit sluggish, eh, not really much I can do. Need to get new RAM. And I'll actually mention why that is in a bit. Let me just focus. Because I'm getting a wee bit on on age and I get distracted quite a wee bit. So. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So it's that. There's that chick. Average difficulty. Do we have backpack? I think it was our inventory. Inventory, there we go. We do have options. Okay. Good, so we do have somebody to go in with me. One thing they could probably do to make this game competitive in terms of yeah, the visuals don't look that good. But your AI, your um, AI buddies are actually AIs. Okay. Shards of glass litter the floor in front of you. The remains of a partially destroyed skylight up above. An agent of Arganesson impatiently motions for you to speak to him. A cat has been accidentally polymorphed into a dragon and escaped into the streets of Stormreach. You've been asked to lure the creature into an alley so it can be returned to its original form. Proceed through the dimension door and speak to Olivia Snow to learn more. Uh -huh. And this is how it's going to keep you in the instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Olivia asks you to obtain some nice milk to distract the cat turned dragon. There's a dairy merchant nearby who should be able to set you up. The tufts turn towards you with menace in their eyes. Nothing too spectacular there. I do like the voice though. The voicing makes it so much better. You smack like a motherfucker, baby. You're allowed to be a bit active. Aww. pussy. Yes, I couldn't help myself. You've obtained enough milk to distract the cat dragon. 
Next, you must locate a certain house cannon artificer to acquire a power source for your trap. <laughs> You shot your you, you shot your shot. some boxes. I think we need this. Should probably focus on getting better damage. The small dragon watching to a pile of destroyed armor and corroded metal surrounds the rust monster. onto its pile of broken weapons and armor. She may destroy all this shit. Some of them might have been useful. Hey. Wonder if we would purr. Good to give it a slight bump every now and then. You hear a squeak, the 
pursue approach. The rat runs off and squeezes into a crack in the wall. Hey. The weaver tells you the giant ball of yarn can be found in a storeroom to the south. to roll uncontrollably, it smashes what? through the wall. to the alleyway is blocked by a magical barrier. It seems to prevent living creatures from entering. Look, I'm a gamer then. No life to be found. shoots through the nearby alley. The sound of flapping wings can be heard overhead. Your bright light beam has attracted the cat dragon's attention. <laughs> As milk begins to pour out of the spigot, you hear something approaching. But it's not the cat dragon. It's a mimic surrounded by hired tufts. It seems to want to speak with you. You've thwarted its plan. It orders the first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
The cat dragon begins to happily paw at the giant ball of yarn. Olivia appears and beckons for you to talk to her. Olivia explains that while the cat dragon's transformation was an accident, the other creatures in the world as punishment for their very real transgressions. She assures you that she'll return the cat dragon to its previous form. The polymorphed cat lets out a low growl. This must be what it sounds like when a dragon tries to purr. The beast seems content to stay in the alley and play with its toys for now, allowing the Argonescent wizards to transform it back at their pleasure. Kaylee pussy taken care of. Now let's see about the rest. Oh, come on. That's a dagger. Hmm. to Wolf in the Stormage Harbor to travel to the Isle of Red. The cats... Uh, I think it was... no. No... Where the hell was it? I think here? There. There's a lot of quests that will open up, but I'm curious about Stormreach right now. But do we have access to it? I don't know. Let me just go check. Because I honestly cannot remember.
shiny. Now you're supposed to take me there. Level 7. Let's go level 6. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought it would be. Which means they came down here for no reason. But there might be the odd quest here and there. Like, where was that? There. Okay, where was it there? Stuttery, I'm gonna be honest. I can't really put my finger on why. Alright, you fucking sh shitting me. Oh well, back to the markets. Because there was shit in here. Like those two, potentially. Now, if those guys give me a quest, that's gonna be the question. Looks like they will. This might be very difficult. Oh well. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. Here we go. And also, summoner. You emerge from the jungle into an open clearing, only to spot a figure beckoning to you. As you approach, you realize that the flickering form is some footsteps can be heard from further down the path. into an extensive system of stone caverns. God, have I missed that audio narration.
we're gonna survive a boss. But we're making it. The door opens, revealing a lush waterfall. Twisting paths lead deep into the dense jungle. Several giants have set up camp in a secluded spot. Fuck me! You spy some kind of lever amongst the tents. I'm out of bleeding with that for this shit, oh boy. <gasps> Do we have anything that unlocks? I don't think I do. I'm gonna be honest. Just check here. Yeah. Those and vanish. Do we have not that? Any I don't think we do. Okay. 
Okay, so that means we fucked our stuff. That gave us something, but what? I kind of hate killing cats, even if they're fierce pussies. Very fierce pussies. is shielded by a magical ward. You will need to disable it before you can proceed. got one. I'm gonna guess the other one's going to be over there. Somewhere. God, is this place pitch dark. Pitch black. Ah, oh, there we go. A distant sound tells you that a ward has been disabled. So, let's see here. Can we get some rest shrines, please? With the magical barrier dispelled, you can now explore deeper into the caverns. <laughs> I 
That guy was very dangerous, not just dangerous. The sound of a door rumbling open can be heard to the east. Sweet dreams are made of this. Oh my god, it's 45 minutes. Gonna have to leave it off here now, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for the cliffhanger, but yeah. This might go on for another 20 30 minutes, so mm. catch you guys and gals next time. Thank you for watching, or more precisely surviving up until this point, because you guys know the editing's kinda interesting and my voice has a melodic tone to it. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like button, it does help out the statistics of the channel, gets more visible, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest, at one point I would like to actually make this a job so I can do better content with better quality, more games, more coverage, you know, stuff like that. Take care.